What up, what up? Hey. Thank you for tuning in to the Camel Breakers Podcast. Your source of everything gaming and Atlanta's premier gaming podcast. I am Jack here, aka Mr. Bilbo Swaggins. To my right, you got your boy, Hoo-hoo, Super M, with the Combo Breakers Podcast. And I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to my left because we got a very special yeah. guest. So, right now, this is Win, In It to Win It. And I have a special guest coming here all the way from London, all across the, way, the all pond. Mm hmm. It's your boy King J, UK's leading fighting game content creator. Hey, we hey, are hey. here in Ooh. ATL. Uh, Giving the credent- uh, credentials. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? So what we got today, fellas? Whoa. So right now, you know, it's something special. This is his first time coming to the A. Mm-hmm. And, you know, this is... Go throw out the A's. <laughs> taking, <laughs> this is Tekken country, or, or more so how I look at it. It's, tech, it's the heart of Tekken. Yep. Um... I think every piece of in this in different countries have different parts of Tekken, but in Atlanta, it's the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the first time my boy Justin's in here, and it's like, hey, we have this premiere podcast, and we just want to introduce you more to our community, so they get to know about you and all your big things that's happening in the near future. Uh, cool. So obviously. First things first, this year we got TwitchCon Europe. Mm. Obviously, I'm going to be brand ambassador for that. Yeah. Nice, yeah, man, congrats. Uh, thank you very much. This uh, is a big opportunity for me, and I'm very, very grateful. I've been grinding for like over 10 years. Competitive gaming, Tekken, I've been doing for 10 years. Wow, man. Uh, never really got that breakthrough until I'd say last year. Uh, when I started making Tekken, Tekken 7 guides, it was just basic guides, uh, it was like, no, no no, type of uh, frame data, yeah. it was just literally, it was very bland, but it was for that audience and a lot of people got hold of those guides and it was bringing me a lot of views, the channel was growing, it went from like 2,000 to like 15,000 in like wow, a man. week or two, I remember it just growing up and then like I remember I came to EVO, so I, obviously we hanged out. Uh, and Shola as well, shout out to Shola. And I remember seeing people like Eris avoiding the puddle. Uh, I see Maximilian. Like, Maximilian said that he watched my Miguel guide, and that to me was like, right. he's that's out big. there. Yeah, yeah he's out there. there. Yeah, so. I, not to cut you off, but I think like the biggest moment, and I think for you in your eyes, mm-hmm. was when me? we just walked right next to me, and me just looked at you like, oh. You're King J. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I watched your videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of wild. It, it, it was so crazy because yeah. it was it, it. I had it on camera because my camera was just rolling. Yeah. I, I I walk around camera rolling, just whatever happens happens. That's wild. And he said it, but it looked for me. I was like, no one's not gonna understand it because they weren't there. It looked yeah. rehearsed. Yeah. But you was there. I Shola was there. there I, I was like, <laughs> what is going on here? It does not make any logical sense because these guys. Yeah, I, I look up to them, right? you know, I see Nii doing his thing in tournaments right. for years, and Maximilian's been doing content creation, you know, cosplay, yeah, they're cosplaying videos from back in the yeah. day, assist me, like, yeah, all of those videos, that's what I'm saying, I, and I look up to these people, and I always look to see what they're doing, and how they're, how they're getting on, and stuff like that, so to hear that they've watched my stuff, it was like, I must be doing something yeah, right. It's absolutely. like coming full circle, man. Yeah. And to be completely honest, before I even knew that Wynn knew you, like he knew that I was interested in trying to learn tech and stuff like that. So, yeah. but I think I actually ran across one of your guys and I think that's even how I found your Twitch channel in the first place. Like before Bro. I even knew y'all were homies. Like yeah. I didn't really know y'all were homies for real until like that vlog that y'all did in uh Evo. Oh, the Evo. recent Evo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When, when you sent me that screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the funny part, like, y'all was, like, showing off the room or whatever. Yeah. And we were just, like, lounging like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know nothing about it. I was like, I'm watching this vlog. And I said a uh, DM on Facebook, like, bro. <laughs> he was mad chill, though. Yeah. That, no, that was funny. I, I forgot about that. No. That's what I was saying. It's, it's so, I think from, from that opportunity, that, that, that kind of opened up my eyes into, like, you know, I started going on with the guides. I know I, I had criticism, like, if we had to be honest, I had criticism from people that actually know the game. Right. But I've always said, and I'll say it again for the last time, it's these guys were not for people that know the game. It's This is like, people that see fighting games, um, I would say people that are brand new to fighting games, they often get scared away because, oh, there's frames, there's a lot of maths. Mm-hmm. Like, maths ain't the greatest, yeah. you know? Um, so... 
they want to see guides where it's not maths. It's not, oh, if you do this, you're minus 15, so you can punish with a... Yeah. It, it's it, That's too much. It's too much. Yeah. So I just say, look, here's some moves here. Look at the moves. You can use these moves. Uh, you can do this combo. That's it. And people, the people that loved it, loved it. The people that don't like it, are people that play already. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I'm not but doing it for you. For you yeah. yeah, it's not for you. So, but yeah. one thing that I said because I came up to your defense one time, mm-hmm. I think it was while I was watching one of your streams and mm-hmm. stuff, was that you were trying to give people the same experience that you have when you first learned the game, right? Because even for myself, me first learning the game, all I just knew was. Pick up the controller, play, go through um, the commands and everything. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. Yeah. So there wasn't no frames. And then it didn't take me until like six six to seven years before it just hit me. Like, oh. That's what I'm that's saying. That's frames. That's what so I'm saying. So it's like it takes a while because it's like, yeah, I know the frame and all stuff. But what makes it better and I, t- I tell this, like, to my roommate and stuff, mm-hmm. is, like, it's better for you to get to know your character first right. so then you have a mental idea of, like, okay, so if this is 10 frames, like, oh, okay, that kind of makes sense and such. Right. Then just to you, say, like, all right, this is the math right here. <laughs> study it. Uh, <laughs> stand, study it, and I need you to find the slope before you leave. That's what the problem was. Like, anytime I see the guys that were online, it's like, Everyone's providing too much information for people that don't understand that. This is my guides are for people that don't really. They they're very casual. They yeah. they're not in the FGC like that. They just want to pick up the game, and you know, majority of them the views are like in five digit figures. Yeah. You know, so everyone that was complaining was the people that know the maps already. Right, right. You know? Have you ever thought that you contributed to? Tekken 7 success because if you ever think about it the game is still alive it's like almost six years old yeah it because people would think like oh you know it's been out you know it's for two years for or about to be three years mm-hmm. but it's like but it's been out arcades for like three to four years yeah, yeah. Right. so and then if you go to like a uh, a local and all stuff like in Tekken Tag yeah. After two years, it, you probably won't get like three or five people. But now you're still getting double digits and all stuff. And these are people who most likely started from the bottom and they had to come to your videos right. at least once. Right. So to a certain extent, you help them continue their grind in Tekken. Mm. And how does that make you feel in general? That I think it's it's an overwhelming feeling because like like I said that I all I wanted to do in terms of the content was just make content to help that like it was just educational content mm. so I never like the whole evil thing was kind of a thing for me but it's like even the Tech World Tour finals last year I'm I'm there with my girl and I'm signing people's T-shirts arcade sticks. Wow. I'm getting pictures to send to people's friends. I'm on someone, someone's doing some live stream and I've gone on to say, hey, what's up, man? Sh- shout out to whoever it was. And, you know what I mean? And that to me was just like, my girl was like, oh, you're, you're, you're just famous. I said, I don't even understand what's going on. I'm literally going there for a tournament. I didn't even do well at a tournament. I was just like, you know, I was just kind of down. But all of that just made, like it lifted me up. I'm just like, look, whereas if I can help people, I help people. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it felt like to me, Bringing all these people that are in, like, it's a good feeling because, you know, these are the same people that might tune into my streams and I might have a bad day before I stream. People don't understand that when you come on streams, like, it doesn't mean that, you know, everything is all rosy in your life. Mm -hmm. Most of the time when I play video games, and this is real, I've never said this in an interview before, but most of the times the reason why I play video games is to get away from life stress. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I, I could be going through the problems with my family. I could be going problems with my girl. I could be going through... Just even life, money, financial. Right, it could right. be so much things. You turn on the game, you play with your friend, you feel happy again, you know? Mm-hmm. And yeah. mm-hmm. that, for me, is one thing. But then seeing people coming in and actually motivating me to keep on going, that's another thing. And, you know, yeah, I've contributed to bringing in a lot of people, but they've also contributed to helping me right, get yeah. to where I'm getting it's to. So it's, come, but it's, it's coming full circle. Yeah. yeah, it's coming full circle. So, again, really appreciate it, man. 
That's awesome, dude. It's really appreciated. Speaking of content creation, though, you know, like, sometimes a lot of people, like you said, they don't really know what goes on behind the scenes. And, you know, there are some bad days. You know, you get yeah. some bad comments. You get some some, some rough feedback. The equipment's yeah. breaking down, all that. Um, as a content creator, though, my question for you is, how do you deal with the bad days? How do you continue to be a showman through you know, throughout that? Like, what are some of the things that kind of just get you through some of the rough work days? Yeah. I mean, that's a very, very good question. I've had, like, a lot of kind of, like, stigma in terms of, like, trying to get through, like, the bad days. Like, sometimes the bad days just come from people that just don't like you. Yeah. They just they just don't want you to do good. I've had, like, some, like recently I had someone being racist towards me, and, you know, I didn't really like it, but, you know... We're here now. We're still streaming. I'm, I'm in ATO. You know, I'm doing things. Yeah, yeah. And, you know... People only hate on you and they know you're doing better than they are. That's all it is because they weren't saying nothing when I was, wasn't was getting exactly. all these people around me. And, you know, one thing I realized, um, getting through all the bad stuff and the stigma, if we're talking about other people that are trying to, like, like you know, trying to bring you down in the social media world, in 2019, we shouldn't be handling it. We should just use the mute button. Yeah. Yep. You know? Twitter... I get people sending me stuff all the time. Might be good, might be bad. Oh, you send me stuff at bad mute button. You might think that you're sending it to me, but I don't see it. Right. It's 2019. Why deal with it? Nice. nice. Don't give them the so, attention that they craving so bad, pretty much. That's what I'm saying. Because if you if we saw each other on the road, or we saw each other in an event, you are not saying this to me right. in front of my face. You're, yeah. you're not going to say it. Like, as much as you want to big it up to Twitter and say, yeah, I would say this. I have never had any of these altercations in my life. And I've been competing for 10 years. And there's always these... Tekken people, not all of them, but it's always someone that's involved kind of on the outskirts of the scene, but they come in and it's like, I see them. They might have said something that was really terrible to me. I will still see them. Don't pay no mind. Okay, yeah. you're there. You said this to me. I, I don't really care. Like, just get on with it, and it's life. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. And a quick question. Um, so, I feel like uh, a lot of people don't really understand, like, how much work goes into, uh, you know, uh, streaming on Twitch and becoming right. a partner and things like that. Like, people right. just feel like, you know, oh, this is like a joke. Like, people just sit in here and, like, play video games, but they don't understand, like, how much goes into it. So, like, describe, if, if you can, I don't want to, like, steal your secrets or nothing. No, I'll, I'll, I'll give you everything, Describe, man. like, your, your day-to-day. Like, what's the process like for you? Because, you know, a lot of people find it hard finding time to do stuff like that. All right, cool. So, in terms of, like, content creation on the whole, obviously, I do stuff for YouTube and Twitch. Mm-hmm. If we're talking about Twitch... I... Twitch was Twitch was a grind for me. I mean, I've been streaming for like four, four, five years. I've been streaming. And I remember I didn't have a good PC. I had a, I, we had a, I had a thing called Poverty Cam. Mm-hmm. It's like a webcam, but I just got it from like one local place, and it was like very cheap. And it's like I'm just bare static. Every time I'm moving, I'm bare static, and everyone's laughing at me. But there was there was no like it was hard. Tekken Tag Two. There was hardly any streamers, so like you know they were laughing at my camera, and they were like, yeah, Poverty Cam. So I twisted that and said, right, you know what? You're right. It's, it's a poverty camp. And everyone was laughing at it. And then, you know, I I've, I've kept on streaming, kept on streaming. Um, there was one guy that was ahead of me in the streaming. Um, his name's Raw Menace. He was, uh, he used to stream tag two a lot. And he was, he had the high ranks. And I was, we was always rivals. And it was like a thing of like, he got to punch it before I did. Yeah. And. You know, where, where we was competing, it was like, yeah, he was on 2,000. I was on like uh, 1,000 stuff. I'm like, yo, I'm going to catch up to you. And we was always competing. And it was fire for me. And it was so it was such a healthy, like, competition. I never felt nothing for him. When he got to a partnership, I was like, congratulations, right. man. That was really good. So now I was fighting for it. And I'll be honest with you, if you want to know the gods and his truth, I, I, I got declined at least five or six times. Wow. What? It's real life. Your life. No one knows this. Everyone sees the the rosy side of it. I've got the kind five or six times. I've done twenty four hour streams until when I'm tired. I sleep in for like at least twelve hours because I'm trying to get back my. You know, I was really really tired. Twenty four hour stream for me is just, it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, like <laughs> grown, man, we need that rest. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't even do it no more, man. But it's like you know, I was doing stuff like that. Decline, decline, decline. I'm even trying to email and try and I'll find out what am I go where I'm going wrong for Twitch. They're telling me, yeah, you need to get that, like X amount, think three hundred view, three hundred viewers concurrent. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna keep on streaming, keep on streaming, keep on plugging away. So then I was like, I don't know what to do now. Yeah. Like you get to that stage, right, right, right. You get to the stage where it's like, well, what do you do? And you know, like in life, especially like when you're what, what twenty one upwards. I'm thirty now, but twenty one upwards, it's like, what do you want to do in life? Where do you want to be? 
yeah, sure, this is fun, but can you make it to that next level where you need to be? And I'll be honest with you, I think I was like, what, 26 at the time? And obviously, it was a thing where I was struggling to feel like, is this really going to be where I want to be? Right. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, there's probably thousands of people that are content creators that feel this way when they get to that stage, you know? So it was just like, for me, I said, look, I'm putting it all. Got a credit card, and I think I had like 4,000 on. I literally got everything I needed because I had a poverty PC, mm -hmm. poverty cam. I'm trying to do this thing. It's not working out. My dad, my dad is even saying like, do you really want to do this? Is it really going to work? Because you've been doing this for years. Right. So my own dad is against me. So right. I was like, bro, you know what? I have to think of it. So I just, yeah, credit card. Literally got a monitor, PC, everything. And then, literally, still, I still, still didn't get pumped. Wow. Wait, still even after that. So even, was... even after that. This, this is a real story. This, you know what the worst thing is? This is a real story. And this is like a real story of grind. And yeah, graft. for sure. And yeah, even after that, I still didn't get it. It was only when, I think, I can't remember what happened. I feel like it was... Uh, I don't know. It was. I don't know what what made me get it. I've, eventually, I think I, they started helping me. Twitch started helping me front page. I was I was emailing them loads, and I was like, "Yeah, look, I'm really struggling." Da, 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 da. And they helped me put on me put me on front page, and I was starting getting views. Starting to get um didn't get subscribers at that time. Cause I never had the, there, there was no thing as affiliate. It was just literally you stream or your partner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got. I got the partner eventually. I think it was like June two thousand and seventeen. Um, was it June 2017? Yeah, June 2017, I got it. I got the partnership. And I was like, great. And then, I think it was 2017. It, like, during Tekken 7? I think it was before. It might have been. I've only had it for three years. 2017, 2018. Might be 2000. I can't remember. It's one of them. Was it, was it before or after? Tekken I think it 7? might have been before. I think it was before. So, yeah. probably 2016. 2016. All right, cool. So, 2016 was when I got it. Sorry. Um... And then from then on, I was just create, still creating content. I still not blown up. Nothing's happened. You know, it's still stagnant. Like, I just kept on going, 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 and going, and going. I'm talking like doing stuff like where I stream seven days a week. Sometimes I'll stream, I'll stream 10 hours. I still do it now up until this day. Like, you've seen me, like, mm -hmm. I think the last stream before I streamed for like, the last two streams I streamed on Saturday and Sunday. Both of them add up to 20 hours. Jesus. Yeah. So, you know, it's crazy. Like, and I kept it going on. And then Tekken 7 came out. And I remember I had my little situation. We can talk about that later on. But I had my situation with uh, Bandai Namco in the UK. And then um, I got approached by Red Bull. And they said, yo, do you, do you want to do, you wanna do con like, help us with content? Like, and I said, yeah. But, so I helped, to, I helped them with What's Something. They gave me the game on um, two of the platforms. One of my supporters bought me the game on PC. Wow. Paying up, right. Oh, and, then, awesome. and then after that, when that happened, I had a merchandise where it had all my subscribers, which I'm wearing now. Um, so, I have to yeah, show, so I have to show them quickly. So obviously, this is my face. And what it is, your name is in it as well, by yeah. the way. Yeah, so like all the supporters, massive <laughs> supporters that supported me, they make up my face. So the whole idea about it is without them supporting me, I wouldn't be here right now. So that's why their face is what makes up, their name is what makes up my face. Yeah. Nice. So, nice. and that done really well. A lot of people bought in. Even when I go to events, they come in with the hoodies, the t-shirts and stuff. And, you know, it's just been really well after that, man. You know, I'm just keep on going, traveling, Atlanta now. Probably want to go back to Evo again. I've been to like, I think, Evo Japan in 2018, Evo, Evo 2018 in Vegas, Evo 2017. Yeah. So I want to come, I want to come back again. And yeah, the Atlanta trip is basically because I heard, you know, obviously I know that Win and Shola are from Atlanta, and I've always said I want to come up here because I know like it's kind of like the home for yeah. Tekken in America. So I just thought, you know what, I need to make this trip. Like it was like for me, it's so personal, and it was like such a thing that I said I need to come out here. Mm -hmm. Um, and I done whatever it takes. Win will tell you, bro. I literally said I'm coming out. Who are you coming expecting? To, who are you most excited to play from here? To be honest with you, it's just everyone. I haven't really got like a, a, a like a target at someone because yeah. like obviously I played chop in a in a money match. We played in and even me. One thing that made me realize that I knew that I can bond well with Atlanta is when the video of me chop you was in it and Sholem was we was doing the reaction to Tekken Seven Season Two, and 
Chop is going crazy in the background. Oh, I th- yeah, I think I'm And that. literally, that video is on 56,000 views. Wow. That is just a live reaction. That's no no intro, no outro, nothing in. There's no post. That, there's no production. It's literally a raw video. I just threw it up because I just didn't have time. I was, yeah. I was in... I, I'm just... I'm in, like, holiday mode. Plus, like, I want to go to back in to see the finals and stuff. Just threw it up. And I'm like, 56,000 views just for that. Mm-hmm. And I realised that every time I've come with, like, if it's me or Chop, or if it's me or Win, or if it's me or Shola, or it's anyone from ETL, loads of, loads and yeah. loads of views. And loads of, like, yeah. So I'm, trying, I'm trying to use us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just... It's just, chem- it's just... You know what? It's, it's just the chemistry that I have. I don't really have that chemistry of anyone in, in the UK or Europe, if I'm honest. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's one of the reasons why... My my outreach, uh, people that watch my content, thirty three percent is America. It's more than my own my own backyard. Oh, like wow. U- UK is only fourteen percent. Oh wow! Yeah, America is thirty three. That's double. So I'm, every time I come out here, I've uh, you know you that the amount of people in Atlanta that are messaging me like, yo, what what's going on? Where you at? Da, 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 da. It's been crazy since I've been out here. Like absolutely crazy. It's not like that in the UK. You know, it's just people see that I'm there and they like it, but. You know, it's, it's, let me give you a prime example. Ella May, she, uh, she's a singer, right? Meek Mill, you love my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ella May, Ella May was not big in the UK. She came to America and she got a success. Obviously, now in the UK, people were like, oh, right, Ella May. Like, but I already knew about her, but it's just people was not respecting her until when she's absolutely massive in America. Right, yeah, so right. It's, a, it's the same thing with fighting game community. Like now that I've got, like I'm, I wouldn't want to say big. I'm I'm known in uh, America. People in the UK are like, oh right, King J is doing good. King J like King J, but it's they ain't supporting me as much as the Americans, mm. you know. So well, I guess this is a good segue on <laughs> why, to a certain extent, basically. Why? I mean, it's <laughs> the the past, and it's more so. You know, I seen the video. Mm-hmm. Uh, I seen it. Before I knew you, I seen mm-hmm. it when, basically when it came on Shore Yuki, right. and they were talking about it. They didn't even know you and all that stuff. Like, who, who names himself King J? Mm-hmm. And all. <laughs> and, I thought I saw about the name King J. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get to the story of King J. Yeah, 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 yeah. We always do this with everybody with, yeah. with our What You Playing series. We got to figure out how they got their name. So before we get into how the scene is, we got we to segue into that real quick. Yeah, 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 so yeah that's cool. It. That's cool. So the name King J, it's funny because... My grandma, uh, she always called me king because I'm always like, we had this thing where, you know, you invite everyone, like your cousins and stuff. And I used to beat up everyone. I just literally <laughs> used to beat up everyone. And she used to call me King Tyson. Like, by, oh, like the boxer, yeah. King Tyson. Yeah. So obviously I was like, all right, cool. I used to, like, obviously that's when I'm young in it. But obviously now she's passed and it's kind of like, it's a thing of like, King J, but I don't want to be J-A-Y. Everyone names himself J-A-Y or King J just by itself. So I was like, let me do a different spelling. I was looking at Korean spellings and sometimes they name their names J-A-E. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, right, who's the best at Tekken? Mostly Kareem. the Koreans. Yeah. So yeah. King J-A-E. So it's not a thing of like, oh, I think I'm king and you lot are my peasants. It's nothing like that. It's yeah. just, it just kind of rolled off in terms of that was the story behind the whole name. And I just thought, oh yeah, I'll just roll with it, man. That's what's up. Man. Yeah. So, so yeah, just get into this drama though. Yeah, let's get so, into Mario itches. I'm all about the drama, bro. So nah, it's cool, it's the cool. past, basically, uh, I forgot what year, uh, but it was during Tag Two. What time did Tekken Seven come out? Tekken Seven came out. Uh, so it was that time. It was the pre tournaments before Tekken Seven. So it was that same year. Tekken Seven came out 2017, right? 2017. Yeah, it, but we call it uh, early 2017. Okay, cool. Um, it's, a, it's a small joke in the okay. 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 So basically, they're saying the game was going to release early 2017, mm-hmm. but it didn't get released until like the end of May or early May. So we're like, oh, okay, you know, it's only 2017. This, <laughs> this is only 2017. <laughs> so yeah, so mm-hmm. that it, it came out in May. Yeah, yeah. Um, June. What was it? June. June. June second. Oh, yeah, you're right. June second. Mm-hmm. So it came out June second. Uh, that's why it's early. And, <laughs> um, so I guess it was like probably was it? It was like a year before then, right? No, no, no. So, so if you're talking about the whole Luton stuff, that happened mm. prior. So that the, the whole the the pre tournaments were like every month leading up to the game. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. 
I say it was Ben. So during there, there was a match. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot the person you were playing against. CBC Grizzle. And basically, there was a time while you're fighting, he basically stopped for a quick second. Mm-hmm. Now it's during that time, it probably would look weird. But mm-hmm. if you're going back to like let's say the present time, that's like a tactic. You see a lot of top players would do it because mm-hmm. it's basically it's 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 some way to show like no matter what you're going to do mm-hmm. I got you. Mm-hmm. But they saw it differently. Mm-hmm. And e- even though you still won mm-hmm. and at the same time there was no reason for something quote unquote collusion mm-hmm. because it wasn't like the grand finals. Yeah. Capcom, not Capcom, blah. Namco, <laughs> Namco yeah. basically, uh, or Namcops, assumed. <laughs> you know, it's funny, you've never had a name for Namco. This yeah. is the first time. Yeah, it's, 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 it's Namcops. It's Namcops. Yeah, it's, that's what it's yeah. called. It's yeah, called yeah. Namcops, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, they just went ahead and said, nope, collusion. Yeah, yeah. It's, and, you know, tell me, basically, this is your time yeah. to talk about it. Because, you know, it's all in after, it's all in the past, but at the same time, some people only just know just that quick second when they just read it or saw it. It's true. It's a bit of a sticky situation still. Um, so, I was a part of District G at the time. Mm. Uh, that, that was my first sponsor, shout out to District G. Um, there's a handful of players. Uh, me. So, in this tournament, it was in Birmingham. I, every tournament, so I, I want to just list the facts so there was a tournament the first tournament was in scotland i came fifth in that one around i would just say top eight i can't remember so i came top eight in that one there was like over 100 people so i came just short i think you had to be top three to qualify to the finals the Mm -hmm. finals was just before tekken sevens release i think it was in uh, may so i came just short from getting the qualification but obviously one of my teammates got it so then another one happened i think it was in manchester same thing again, top eight came just short from getting the qualification. So then now we come to Birmingham now. And Birmingham was the one where I came top three. So what happened was is that I went through, I think I lost quite early in, in terms of like, obviously you get winner's bracket, loser's bracket. Mm-hmm. So I lost, I came, I lost my first game. Like I just lost it. Um, so when loser's bracket, I, I tore through the whole of loser's bracket. Like there was a lot of people. Ru Kang, um, I can't remember, what the, but Ru Kang was the most notable one. Like he's yeah. the one that does the hell sweeps and ma- the loads of hell sweeps and the takeover tour. <laughs> um, so I tore for a lot of people. C Crizzle, me was playing, and that's we're both teammates. C Crizzle's already gone through, as in like he's qualified in, but this silly rule of you can re-enter is what happened. So then it kind of created this kind of stigma when I beat him that, yeah, he kind of let me win. But the video now that people were that people were creating and what it caused the spark was he would not move at certain parts. And for the outlook, even me, I was like, I, don't, I can't explain for a next man why you're not moving right, right. or how you're going to play another way. Um, he didn't move at a certain part where both of our lives were low. And when he didn't move, I was like, I don't know why he's not moving, but I'm going to attack. Right, right. You're going to take advantage. Yeah, I'm going to take advantage. Right. Cool. So I don't know. Like, I've seen people play um, where they don't attack because sometimes you just don't know. We don't want to hit eat a counter hit or we don't, or they expect you to do low so they can just low parry. They, you, I just don't know what. I right. could not talk for the next man. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so that happened. And, you know, I beat him, but that wasn't even a match to qualify. Uh, so I see, I played another guy, needs more coffee. Um, he was one of the people, like, we're, we're okay now. We don't have no issues or anything like that. But he was one of the people that was on Twitter saying, oh, yeah, I can't believe this is happening. Mm-hmm. But I didn't understand what was going on at the time. I beat him to qualify, right? So I wasn't Crizzle. So every time when they would look, when the tweets were going out, like, yeah, um, King J, down collusion, collusion, whatever, it wasn't C. Crizzle that made me qualify. I had to fight someone else. And the person that said I was doing it, I beat him. And then Spaghetti Rip, you lot know him as a commentator mm-hmm. on that. Um, we didn't really see, like, we're not really see eye to eye at all, but, you know, I respect what he does. Even after all of this, I still respect what he does. It's whatever. Um, I beat him as well on top of that now. So I'm in the top three. So then I have to face the Phantom and he's in my team. 
but he wiped me out 3-0. Yeah. So when when uh, I left now, I'm seeing loads of tweets. I'm seeing my tweet, uh, my Twitter getting blown up. Yeah, King J cheat, cheated, this, that, and the other. And I was just like, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, what, how could I? Like, I don't understand what's going on. And at the time, I was saying collision. Cause I didn't understand what collusion was. I, don't, I don't, never really. <laughs> and somebody, somebody grabbed that definition. Yeah. I, swear, <laughs> I swear it requires more than one person. That's right. Right. I didn't know what it was. I was just like, yeah, I didn't do collision. But everyone's laughing because they're like, right, it's not collision, it's collusion. But I was like, okay, well, I don't know what that is. Like, I've just came to the tournament and played. I've been competing for 10 years. Like, I don't do these things. Like, it's weird. But then when I broke it down and I see the people, it's Europe. It's the same people in Europe that, you know, they don't really, they don't really like me, you know? Um, same, same group of people. They have their group on Facebook saying stuff about me or whatever. They probably, I'm not saying all of them do it now because I'm cool. I'm, I'm civil with some of them now. But at the same time, you know, it gets to that stage where, you know, I looked at it and I looked at the video and I said, cool like it does look a bit weird but are you really saying that you're gonna penalize me for someone else that's just stand still like it doesn't make sense like shouldn't you be questioning him like it doesn't make sense yeah right. so i got a question real quick yeah so there wasn't any kind of investigation they didn't come and talk to both parties and try to figure out like that seems like the sensible thing wow. to do yeah, like, and, and you, not just go you, after just a bunch of hearsay do you, do you, do you want to know the truth do you want to know uh, the well, truth? truth. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth because, you know, a lot of the people that probably have said this stuff, they don't know the truth. So I got a phone call from Banda Namco in the UK and I'm on my phone like, hey, what's going on? He's like, oh, um, yeah, I just need to talk to you. Um, yeah, so, you know, you came third. We're going to have to ban you from the tournaments. So I said, ban me for what? I don't understand. He's like, oh, because um, we've had a look at a video and, and it's suspected collusion. So I said... So it's suspected, but you have no evidence. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. when you're doing, when you're tearing out these allegations, you, it has to be hardcore evidence that look, you have done this, but you've 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 penalized me for suspected. You're suspecting that I have done it, but there's nothing saying that I've done it. Right. Right. Cool. So he said, yeah. He said, oh, I'm sorry. I said, yeah. We just have to ban you from the future tournaments. So I said, what? Like, I was so confused. I said, he said, yeah. Um, I said, you might as well take the medal back then. He's like, oh, no, you don't have, you could keep the medal. I said, I don't understand then. It doesn't make sense. You're banning me mm -hmm. for something. I am openly saying, if you're going to ban me, because I have a lot of integrity, I could give you the medal back. It's not a problem. He's like, nah, you can keep it. So I just said, bro, you know, I don't understand what is going on. And then the people that came into the finals, you know, it's just the UK lot, isn't it? That, you know, they've, they've gone in, they've, than what they're doing. I, I still went to the finals. I was making sure that you're not stopping me. I'm, I am here. Mm. So I went there and everyone from the band and Amco UK just ignored me. It was, it was, it just didn't make any sense. Like, and you know, I was the only one, obviously you got to think about it. So it's King J C Crizzle collusion. Everywhere's done it. I even had like someone that went to my school. He's never spoke to me yet. a day in his life after school's done. But as soon as this happened, he, had, he wanted to get me on a podcast. I was like, no, <laughs> why you, I'm doing, when I'm doing good, you've never invited me on a podcast. The one time you see something in a negative stigma around my name, you want to invite me to a podcast? Yeah. Sound like some shock jock stuff they want to get you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was, I was just like, well, okay, they still done a podcast without me and they were saying, yeah, they've known me for time, but you didn't know me. We just went to the same school. Right, right. So I was just like, okay, whatever. So the, it was King J C secrets or collusion, whatever. The person that got the most stigma was King J. Why do you think C. Crystal never got no um, no stigma? I was just about to ask that. Like, was did he get a call? Was he banned he did, too? Like, what happened? He, he got a call as well, and he got banned. But everyone on social media was going for me. They didn't go for C. Crystal. C. Crystal has Twitter. They didn't go for C. Crystal. Mm. They went for me. Mm. And you got to think about it. And this is this is why I find it funny because everyone outside of like everyone outside of the UK know now because when they talk to me, they see what I'm like. You've seen what I'm like. And they, you understand, I'm an honest person. Like, so when you see all of this stuff happening, it's, it's always King J, King J, King J. It's never, it was never towards Secrets. Secrets will still compete in tournaments. They're, they're all friends with him, but King J, no. Sound like a little bit of a witch hunt to me. Everyone's everyone, everyone, <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. Everyone in the everyone Woo! that knows. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm look, I'm I'm third party. I'm just hearing here yeah. evidence now, but it it does seem a bit odd. 
you know, whenever there's collusion, right, there's mm-hmm. two parties involved. Right. I feel that you have to be able to at least find some evidence or proof that there was some kind of cooperation beforehand. Right. It takes right. two right. people to do that. If I'm playing in a or tournament, right, it, it, two, three, four, five, a whole bunch, maybe a whole team of people from Namco, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we need to have come up with a plan beforehand, right? And if mm-hmm. someone else in a tournament decides to do whatever they want to do, right, whether it's mm-hmm. stop, get up, plug, they could trade, it should be on them, right? They're the one who stopped yep. the action, right? right? Yep. And if you can't prove any collusion beforehand. And so it just seems kind of odd to me that there was a bit of a witch hunt just coming straight after you. I could tell you why, though. Oh, yeah. I could well, tell you why. You got? You got? The reason why is there was a witch hunt for me is because, again, when it comes to Tekken and consecration, I'm in the UK, I'm definitely the leading one. Mm-hmm. And even back then, this is like, right, Tag 2 going into T- Tekken 7, like, I was still leading. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's one of them things that they don't like that, you know? Even up, they don't like it. The only problem with difference between then and now is I'm way too gone for you to even try and say anything to me now. Right. But before then, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm, we're, we're in this rat race. Everyone wants to be uh, number one, number, yeah, one, number, one, one, yeah. number yeah. one, number one, number one, number one, you know? I got banned from it, and then obviously, all right. So the Tekken World, the Tekken, the Tekken Finals was in World Tour. It's like pre Tekken Seven. That happened World Tour. Spaghetti Rip his commentator, you know. And it's just like I, I'm, I'm trying to get into the whole. Obviously, I'm able to compete in the Tekken World Tour. Right. I said, I just said to him straight. I said, look, you, you can't ban me from because I haven't done anything. Yeah, and to be honest, even before that, I said, even if you look that, like, even though you look done me wrong. Like, because it really, if you don't really want it, if I want to take it further, I said, you should go and call the police. Maybe if you really want to go that further. And, right. and you know what I mean? But I just thought, you know what? It's a, it's a tournament. I'm trying to just, I'm trying to have fun with this. Like, you're, you're lot are trying to put stuff around my name all the time. Mm. So I said, bro, you know what? So anyways, now I'm able, I'm able to compete in the Tekken Tour. Like, that was from the first one, even up until now. Um, it's, 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 it's annoying because... I feel like I'm always going through something when it comes to UK or Europe Tekken. Mm-hmm. It's like someone wants to call me out or someone wants to do this. And I think I've got to the stage where, 30 years old now, um, I've grown older mentally. Like, So anyone that calls me out, I, I, I'm just, I just put you on mute. <laughs> I just yeah. can't be bothered. Oh man, like, like, why even bother? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, just, I look at it, they'll be like, oh yeah, your geese is trash. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll money match you. Mute. I ain't got time, like, you know, and that's that's just how it is now. Before, younger mentality, oh, why are you saying this? Oh, you're, 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 you're back now. and forth, back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's, everyone is in this rat race when it comes to fighting FGC. FGC is is probably one of the hardest, uh, hardest games to kind of get into, to kind of blow up from, because we're still, you know, sponsorships are happening, but it's not really that great. People from the Tekken scene, I'm getting dropped. Like, Rangchu, he won Tekken World Tour Finals, he's dropped. Yeah. JDCR, yeah. Saint, dropped. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, from e- Echo Fox, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Rick Fox wasn't playing. He was just like, he just wants that league money. doing well, you know what I mean? Like, they, they're like top guys when it comes to Tekken. So, like, to see them get dropped from Echo Fox, just like, uh, why? Yeah, that was very, very confusing. That's what I'm saying. So, it's like, it's, it's hard. So, you know, if you can get at someone that kind of responds and I'm the guy, sometimes... Because I'm from, I'm, 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 I've got that road and street mentality in me back then. It's kind of like, oh, yeah, you're saying something to you. What are you saying? I'll see them and they don't say nothing to me. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, what's going on? So I've seen this so many times. So now I'm just like, right, you know what? If you call me out, I'm just going to mute you. I'll see you at an event and you ain't going to say nothing. Right. It's, just, it's just pointless. But I'm cool. Like <sighs> When it comes to the, the UK and Europe scene, I don't have a problem. Like I don't generally have a problem with any of them. I don't, if there's a problem... You know, we can resolve it, but it's, I don't really have a problem. It's just, you just get sometimes these people that just want to call you out. They want to pick at you because you're doing well. Right. And they want what you want. Like, I even, the other day, remember when I showed you, someone was complaining about me having front page on, global front page oh, on Twitch. Yeah. Wait, what were they saying? What was the complaint? <laughs> right. They were, they were saying, they were saying. I mean, just don't say the name. Just yeah, there was, okay, they were saying, whose dick do I have to stop to be on front page of Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> but they don't, but they don't know. The, the funniest thing is, is that they don't know that I have had a business relation with Twitch ever since I've got my partnership. I saw them at Eurogamer, which is like a gaming, gaming expo. 
And you know, I know the people in Twitch. That's how you. That, like, if you really want, like, this is for people that are content creators, especially you that actually hate on me. If you want to get somewhere in life, you have to know the right people. This is not even just in game. This is in life. Mm -hmm. You have to know the right people to get to where you need to get to. I've been grinding for ten years, so even hearing or even seeing that, I remember someone screenshotted it to me, and I'm just like. You know, so you're still watching me. You don't like me, if you're, right. but you're watching me. That's the thing I always found weird with like anything um, on the internet or on social media. Anyways, like you deliberately come to somebody's content to talk trash. It's like, well, mm -hmm. you're, you're watching for some reason. It's, it's exactly, like, yeah. exactly, and that's the thing. People are always watching you if you're doing good, and that's the thing. I, I, that's why I don't read. I'm just not even. Before I used to be like, oh, why is he saying? I just don't really care. Yeah, you know. I don't really point. care. So, yeah, that's the story on the um, whole collusion thing. Obviously, it's sad because, you know, it happened a couple years ago, but, you know, everyone that's been around me, even like a lot of Americans, they don't even, they know it's not true. Because yeah. they're around me and they're always chilling and having a laugh, so they know I'm not that type of guy. But it's just Europe. They just like to say, oh, yeah, you've done this. Okay, well. Because yeah. funny story is like, you know, right after, like some of them didn't even, they didn't even remember the video. So we Something. went ahead and I showed them the video and they're like, it just doesn't make sense because uh, I forgot who said it, but they were saying it would have been more ideal for collusion when you were playing against the Phantom. Exactly. Because, that was, it, because exactly. that was your teammate. Exactly. This is why, this is why, you know, the story that got out and the way how it got out, because it was weird. I saw Mark Man, then I saw a team, I saw Spooky get involved. And I'm messaging them like, yo, like this. Why are you siding with these guys? This, this, this is not what happened. Like, they, they, like everyone that made the the whole post and retweets and stuff, they are all in the same group on Facebook. Like, I know because someone that I knew was in the group and they showed me everything they're saying, every the way how they were plotting to do it. And it was just like, it. They didn't say, oh yeah, we're gonna do this, but I can see that they was they were all just laughing at my response and it was just crazy. Like, and I'm thinking, look. I can't bother with this, you know. It's just if you're gonna if you're gonna ban me, cool, but it just doesn't make sense, you know. So I've kind of just gone on with it, and you know, it's that on top of me making the guides and on top of Tekken Seven being out, it's made me success. Success. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So clearly you're doing something right. You know, sometimes you gotta take a negative and turn it into a positive. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. Luckily, there's decent in the game. <laughs> there we go. Oh man. So um, I got a quick question though. Um, here you go. so I've been here like a lot. I've seen a lot of stuff about like the Tekken World Tour and how like you know people have been comparing like the payout, the prizes, and the winnings to you know other uh games. You know, such as Street Fighter, Fighter and like yeah, yeah. you know the pots aren't as huge and it's kind of discouraging people from even like. Wanted to compete in Tekken, is right, that right? How, how do you feel about that? I mean, I'm I'm one. I'm probably the first person that said to people that I'm just not interested in it because, at the end of the day, it's like you know, Tekken is fun. Tekken, uh, everyone that plays Tekken, they have a passion for it. But it's like if you're traveling across to all these different countries, yeah. you you have to add up. Uh, everyone always adds up the flight, but no one never adds up the 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 hotel. They never add up the entry fee. They never and uh, they never add up the food, the living mm -hmm. costs. Mm -hmm. Even Passports, if you need to get stuff, got yeah. It. Do you see what I'm saying? They no one ever adds up all that. And then when you add it up over like I say, the space of like three free tournaments, that adds up to the Tekken World Tour 2018 first place. No, seven thousand five hundred at least. You know, you gotta think about. It. Now we're not talking about just you going to another town in America. America, we're talking about you going to, I don't know. Oh, you're talking about like different countries. Different so. countries. Like, I'm yeah. talking about you going to... All right, what's what's in the 2019 one? We have uh, the Philippines. We have South Africa. We have, you know, if you came to the UK as well. That's all adding up, you know? And Granted, the prize pool is much bigger compared to all the other it, it's, it's, it's much... I, I think it's, it's in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Like, my defense for Namco is... It's... They're being careful just because Tekken is technically an old game in Tekken standards. Because by now, there should have been a Tekken 8, if you really want to just think about it. Because like the lifespan of Tag 2 to Tag 7 was just like two years. And we're here. But I, now, don't, I don't agree. Now, now, the thing is, I think Capcom is in a better place just because 
they have Sony. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Namco, they have everyone else. To, they only have technically just Twitch. Right. Even though they do have some money, I think like this is a a good direction. I said I think there should be more that can be improved. But compared to last year, where it was just seventy five thousand all together, mm. and now it's being one hundred and seventy five, and the hundred thousand mm-hmm. is the finals, right? So I, d- I don't agree because you know the way how fighting games are going on now. I would say Street Fighter has been around for ages. Yeah. Right. Street Fighter Five has been around for ages. Yep, yeah, and, and it started bare bones as hell. Bare bones. I think like, sixteen characters. It and just became a real game right. recently. I mean, like, yeah. it <laughs> probably sucked more money out of people than yeah. put out into the ether. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like Tekken. Yeah, we should have had a new Tekken game by now. But with the way how fine games have kind of nurtured into this whole DLC type yeah. of thing, uh, structure that they have, there's no limit to how long a game could last now. Yeah, that's, you know? I mean, that's what stressed out Street Fighter 4 for the longest time. Like, you, you yeah. know, you saw they just kept adding, like, different versions and, like, updating the mechanics a little bit, mm-hmm. adding new characters and new stuff like that until they just went crazy with the Omega thing. But they were able to stretch out the lifetime, lifespan of that game. And it mm-hmm. seems like it's a trend now. Like, a lot more games are kind of doing that, adding more content to something they've already, a platform they've already built just to extend the life because, you know, we've got these tournaments now. Right, And, right. you know, they're showing up a lot more in the scene, so it just stretches everything out. You know what's crazy is that in like the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 era, they never really had these kind of like big updates for games. It was always like they updated it kind of. Whereas on the PS4, Xbox One X, all of these stuff now, you're getting these big updates. These yeah. are updates that are like, they're game changing. Like yeah. you, you, you have, you know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like they're getting better at it yeah. in terms of per se, like they're getting better with like season pass. Like I think there's going to be Possibly another season pass for Tekken 3, but I think, I mean, Tekken 7. Yeah. I think there'll be like just a kind of a fan service now. <laughs> Who would you put in there? Uh, Gamryu, Safina. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for it. Yeah, no, Gamryu, Gamryu is my guy. Like, that's the character I play. Oh, I see that's that because Julius is there. Yeah, yeah. I've been asking time. for him since day yeah, one. Yeah, same, same, same. Because <laughs> he, he's, he's very diverse. As much as people just see him as like the big sumo wrestler with just diapers on or whatever, like, he is a different character completely. And it's that, and it's very, very diverse. Now, the reason why I think Gamry will come back is because obviously Julia's back now and Chanko Paradise is on the arena stage. They're, so it can happen. Yeah. Bruce, maybe. Um, Zafina. Zafina Wang. Yeah. Mokujin. That's, those are the five that I would like to see come back. And then I think they'll call it a day and then they're going to go on to maybe Tekken 8. But you think they're doing more I, I don't even think they'll go into Tekken 8. What do you think? Tekken Cross I think it's going to be Tekken Cross Really? Yeah. Really? Well, I mean, it's still Akuma is kind of like, well, Akuma and some of the other guest characters are kind of like, like testing the waters in a sense. That's true. True, yeah. true. That's I mean, true. And they made it work, too. I like where they're going with, the, with fighting games now, because I've as as I've been watching fighting games for a really long time, they just get better with age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? The community the good ones. The, the good ones. But I mean, even the bad ones. I mean, there's some old bad ones that were yeah. busted, were never patched, and people still found well, them. I said that, um, that one Sailor Moon game that people have been playing is like ridiculously broken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I like the fact that they're investing a bit more time into these patches and really letting the community kind of form new yeah. technique. I mean, you don't have to make... I mean, is there really a need for a Tekken 8? Are we so tired of Tekken 7 that, no. that we need a Tekken 8? You know what I'm saying? Not at all. You can, it, for me, I think Tekken and Tekken 7, the more they keep adding in, like, um, they added in Armor King, Mardo, that, that was so hype. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was I really... I see you been playing a lot of Mardo. Bro, I was so happy. Because I was just like, they bought Anna and Leia. And I'm like, Anna and Leia are specialist characters. It's very rare that people are going to main them. Like, it's not going to be a large majority. And then I saw... I'm making a model. I was going crazy because I'm just like, I knew model might make a return, but I didn't think I'm making. So I was yeah. like, yes, this is this is fan service now. And then Julia, I was like, okay, fan service. All of this is fan service. Negan was just crazy. I didn't yeah, know where I came from. That. <laughs> yeah. But I was just like, wow, you're actually caring about your season pass because the last the, the season pass one was hot trash. That was really bad. Like, Geese, Noctis, and Bo- Tekken Bowl. No one plays Tekken Bowl. Like, it's literally, that mode is as dead as VR. I forgot VR was on Tekken until I saw it when I, mean, I looked into your PS4. Oh, yeah. I, I think I got too. reminded about that because I, like, randomly, like, uh, turn on Tekken or be about to turn on Tekken and see the little VR icon up there. I'm like, oh, this game got VR. Like, what? It's, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, it's, it's crazy. But 
in terms of your question, in terms of like um, the whole prize pool and stuff, it's definitely the right direction right now. But I still feel like there's a lot of things that are kind of holding them back. And you know, Street Fighter they've come with a lot of money and it's life changing money. Yeah. Whereas Tekken, they're saying a hundred thousand is for the finals alone, right? Yeah. Right, correct. All right, cool. So there's a hundred thousand for the finals alone. So that is kind of life changing money. Kind of, it's it's a step in the right direction. But you know, I remember. Was it not? No, Men of RD had like 250,000. Mm-hmm. That is life changing money. That's a quarter million dollars. Yeah, that, that is life. That, that, that is life changing. You're right. But in terms of Tekken, it's a step in the right direction. I feel like they should be. I don't know what model it is. Because I feel like Street Fighter 5 are following this kind of like American model of like marketing. Whereas I feel like Tekken 7 is following this kind of. They're trying to do American, but it's like you, know, you are a Japanese type of marketing model if that makes sense no but because that, i mean it makes perfect sense because that's exactly what's happening right because Good. you have capcom what what capcom did it was like you know what esports is more so not in japan it's more so in korea or mm-hmm. in america we have a home market in america right we're gonna allow them to decide and then come back to us and then we'll decide right Namco, they basically it's in house in Japan. There we go. And sadly, because of the gambling rules in Japan, oh, it yeah. kind of hurts. This is what I'm trying to them say. Them to try to spread out because they don't understand what's how going it on. Is. But I think it's getting a lot better just because you know they've decided to go ahead and give Harada the helm for all the Namco games. Right. Yeah. For yeah, yeah. the esports community. So that, you know, this is, let's just say, we'll give this the benefit of the doubt because Mm -hmm. they just announced this and they probably just pulled this off just recently. They probably, you know, after this year and how they did it doing it this time, Mm -hmm. all we can see is, you know, what they're going to do. Are they going to continue? Are they going to try to do Dragon Ball better? Are they going to try to do Soul Calibur? Yeah. And all that stuff. What kind of tour? I think they should make like a a Namco tour and have like all three games. I think that will help boost basically the numbers, the numbers you get and a lot more crowds yeah and, and you can get like a better venue and right. all stuff so you know yeah i feel like the the sponsors they have like i think the first one was cup noodles obviously <laughs> for me <laughs> when they were giving out free cup noodles i'm like what is this <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm real in it. Like, I, 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 that's just how, that's just how I am. I'm going to let you know. Yeah. That is a multi-billion dollar That company. is cool. That, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm let you know. It's a multi-billion <laughs> dollar company. It could be whatever. Yeah, I'm just saying. It is kind of funny, like, watching the stream and, like, seeing, like, a stack of cup noodles on the table and people just, like, commentating behind. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. It, that, that, that marketing was crazy. It doesn't yeah. make no sense. It's like... You're, it's it it doesn't tie in a tool with like you know like it's, it's, Street, Street Fighter that has it has Twitch it has well, it was HyperX or one of the stage but it's not HyperX anymore. No, um, so. yeah, no, it's not I, HyperX. I think it's uh, Vitrix. Oh yeah, Vitrix, Vitrix now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vitrix. Yeah. I can't remember, but they have sponsors. This is this is how you get your money for, chucked at you. Why why don't we have like someone like I don't know Quamba I'm not or uh, I don't know Victri- Victrix for maybe they have exclu- exclusive deal for Street Fighter yeah. maybe I don't know what what the terms and conditions are over that but I'm it can't just be just Twitch because yeah. it's just like yeah we're gonna give Twitch full control of what, what's going on that is it but then you're not really getting any benefits from any other potential sponsors and this is why I say they've got this kind of Japanese marketing going on this is why you know the last year's one everyone's just laughing and saying look well. How can Rangtree win 7,500 and get dropped for his sponsor? That goes to show her how weak the tour was. Yep. Yeah, yep, yep. Um, Hollow is the name that I've I've heard and when, it, when it comes to esports. It doesn't seem substantial enough. Right. Well, know? I would say esports, but more so fighting games. Fighting games. Yeah. Fighting games. Yeah, fighting. Fight, 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 <laughs> I don't. It's mad. I don't think fighting game is really esports, though. And I, I just it's, think it's, yeah. prof- I think yeah. it's professional gaming. It's well, so, 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 That's so, the, way to put it. The, the, way to put the it. best way I look at fighting is when it comes to sports, like right. trying to have it like a similarity, right? Or, yeah, similarity. Right. It's more so it's considered like the tennis of sports because it's literally one on one. 
Mm -hmm. And then basically what you're going, you probably have a little team, like a little sponsor, Mm -hmm. and you're going out and you're showing what you got. Okay. And you're basically proving yourself. You have to prove yourself. You have to put all your hard work and everything. It's Mm -hmm. not a team sport unless you're playing doubles. Mm -hmm. But, and that's about it. But it's, it's sometimes, you know, the, the worst thing about it is the grind. Because in tennis, you have to grind. Yeah. I like that analogy. I, I never thought of it as tennis, but mm. tennis does make yeah, uh, it makes a more good sense. Fit. I've always Very likened good. it to like a combat sport, like, like boxing. MMA, boxing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. I, when I likened it to that, it just like when said, it's a, a one-on-one sport. It's you versus the other man, right? Mm-hmm. There are no seconds. There are no teammates. There's no one to carry you, and mm-hmm. it's like an any given Sunday thing. You could be the best this week. Right next week, somebody else has been grinding for three months. You just right. didn't hear about them, yeah. right. and they're right. going to come and take you out. And for me, the, the the tournament model that we follow doesn't really, you know, it doesn't allow for people to get a hold of who is the best constantly. I would I would rather move to have it be in leagues, local leagues, national leagues, regionals, where people can follow someone. Like in boxing, they have 20, 20 bad men, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're, they're out there. Anybody can whoop anybody, but they no. make champions. They make heroes. They make stories, and the fans know who to follow. Therefore, the money comes in because they know who to follow, rise and fall, they build a story. So, I don't know, what do you guys think about that? That actually kind of reminds me of, like, how um, the Pro Series did, the Injustice Pro Series did their tournament set up because they essentially had, like, different regions, like Chicago, Atlanta, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. they had, like, a top spot out of that region. And then, you know, you know they all, you know, like, coalesced at the end to get to, you know, the, the main top eight, or the, not top eight, but the main dance, pretty yeah. much. It, so, it, it's kind of that same structure that, you, you were talking about. Yeah, it, it gives the, the audience, because a lot of the people, well, we're depending on the companies to come in and right. hold their 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 tours, right? Yeah. But we're not really getting much from the fans as far as support. Maybe when they do, like, packs and, they, you know, they, you know, we do buy some costumes and go to support a pro league. But, like, a lot of people that I just bring to places like E-League, they say, man, that's great. But I don't know who to follow. I just know the people. I don't know a name. And I'm like, well, I know the name. Right. Yeah. And I know 200 <laughs> other names. Yeah. But the average consumer, the people who you're going to be depending on watching this, they want to know who's the baddest. Who's going to rise? Who's going to fall? Who I, They come into UFC. They're not necessarily technical people. They don't know any of the holds. They don't know anything. They know watch, at the time, Anderson Silva. And they know he's the best. And they want to see him win. And then mm-hmm. they want to see him fall. And it's fighting games are like that because I'd be like, yo, he's the best in the tournament. And everybody's yeah. like, I'm going to root for him. And then mm. immediately like, nah, I'm going to root against him. And then <laughs> right. they become invested. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, for us, as, as uh, our sport is is interesting because the fans are the players. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And but that's why I consider it like tennis. Yeah. Because the biggest thing that from all the other sports, do you know what's that one similarity that tennis has that all the other sports don't? that it's open to to basically any uh oh, yeah, 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 competitor yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. it's like you have certain ones where it's invitational but besides that it's all open anybody can get in you, just, got, yeah, you in? just gotta train up yeah. and yeah sure. show your that's, work pretty yeah, much that's basically it's what it is literally all up to you like you have to put in the time like you were saying you have to grind to get to that point yeah mm. and i think basically the things that they can improve like you were talking about the leagues and all stuff. I think basically one big thing is when we did have E League last year, mm-hmm. that helped out a lot. Yeah. It was an invitational and all. And it's just that Tekken needs to have I wanna say Tekken, but fighting games in general needs to have more invitationals in general. You know what? I got a question for you guys. Okay. <laughs> so uh, recently, uh, there was a lot of drama in the, uh, the NRS community, right? <laughs> Talking about like the people that got invited to that invitation. Yeah. So. In your opinion, like how would you how would you uh, suggest that companies go about selecting these people? Like, do they should it be an application process, or should they just kind of pick the top names mm-hmm. based on like certain criteria? Like, you know, how many views you got, how many streams you got, how many like tournaments have you won? Like, oh man, so oh, this this one this this one this is a good question because <clears throat> invitationals. You could do them either way. It depends on how you want to do it. You're always going to get people complaining because it's invitational. Yeah. It's like, you know, you invite someone to a party, you know, that person didn't get invited. Why didn't you invite me? Right. That's what, that's, you're always going to hear that. Why is that person invited but not me? You're always going to hear that. I, I had a, there was a dis- District G tournament that happened recently uh, in January where they were inviting players and they had like a panel of five people 
and I think three out of um, three out of five voted for me not to be in the tournament. So I said, I that. Yeah, yeah, three out of five of them. So obviously, me, I was like, with, with the history of story that I told you recent now, like, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on, yeah, yeah. and that it just built up. I'm like, bro, why are you not gonna add me again? Obviously, um, three of them. So it was a abominable uh, snowman, spaghetti rip again, uh, and someone from uh, and uh, Alan is another one. So there, there was those three, and they said, oh yeah, they don't vote for me. So. That's right, cool. I got only picked as a wild pick by someone else. So they done a wild pick, so I got I got put in. When I went in the tournament, um, I came joint in terms of on the league points with the per- the person that's the best in my country, which is Kane and Trench. Mm-hmm. So I won six games to one. I beat I beat Fergus. I beat Rude Kang. I beat all the people that people thought I weren't gonna beat. I beat, mm-hmm. and it's like, well, I've proved my point now. And when I proved my point, I done a vlog about it. And yeah, you know, the usual lot, they all add, came and just that, I started adding dislikes to the video. But the proof of what I was trying to show was, you know, you lot are voting against me, but when I really do want to turn up and do what I need to do, I can still compete. I'm not just a content creator. Yeah. I can really take it to the best of them. And, you know, it's hard, man, because these invitationals, they, they do have a lot of stigma behind it. So it can be positive because you want to see the, you know, the fans of, I don't know, say for example, for... for more combat. I want to see uh, Sonic Fox try and see what he can do on it. I want to see what everyone can do, but it depends. Some people just don't want to see Sonic Fox in it. Some yeah. people don't want to see that person in it. So you're always going to have it, regardless <laughs> of whether it's an application. You know, if I'm doing a tournament, I see Sonic Fox um, send me an application. Yeah, I'm going to bring him in. He's right. popular. He's got, he's, got, yeah. he's, got, he's got personality. And he is very good at not only one, he's very good at a lot of fighting games. Yeah. So it's, it, it's beneficial to me. Yeah. But some, someone out there in the world will be like, no, he's always he's always at these tournaments winning. You don't win because it's invitational. It's the only time when you win is when it's open. No one can complain. Yeah. 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 Earn your way in. Yeah. And that's how it should be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think it's just like if you're extremely popular, just in general, mm-hmm. basically, I think, you know, like let's say you're a streamer or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to get invited. If you basically done some type of promotion and all that stuff, why not? But if you're just an average Joe that probably barely goes to some of your... Yeah, we, gotta, uh, we gotta watch that word, average Joe. Right? Right. We got in trouble about that at E-League for... Oh, because I think that's a name. <laughs> yeah. Because you're... Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> it's a term, people. <laughs> yeah, it's a but, if, term. but if you're just um, barely, you know, contributing, mm-hmm. just going to tournaments and all that stuff, um, and I'm not saying like I'm not trying to fault you because you financially can't and all that stuff, mm. but these people put that time into it. They spend their money just like how Justin was talking about it. They probably spent a good amount of money, probably like more than ten thousand. Mm. And you know, damn, I think I spent more than ten thousand content creation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> easily, easily. And you know, mm. yeah. I think they deserve it. I think so too. Yeah. I mean, there's something to be said with somebody who constantly produces wins, constantly mm. shows up, constantly proves themselves, and can and maintain, they, and they can maintain it. Yeah. And there's this a, a, kind of a sense of you've made it. Yes, invite this person in. You know, mm-hmm. and a lot of people don't re- realize that a lot of these invitationals, they're good for the companies. Yeah. You know, hundred. So they to get eyes on the product. Exactly. Like, you want to get that that those viewerships. So yeah, you're gonna go to Maximilian because he's got this insane following of like. You know, pro players, casual people. Well, you definitely want to get the game in casual hands. That's where all the money is anyway. Mm-hmm. So um, it's just a no brainer. It's just it's, it's it's always the people that don't really contribute that much are always the ones that complain. It's like, oh, why why is it not open? But you probably wouldn't even enter anyways. Right. So it doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't go make it in. Like, what would you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. So that, that's why that's why most of the time I just say it to people, if you're doing invitationals, just do it, man. If people don't get invited, that's cool. I watch on the sideline. If I don't get invited, I'll watch on the sideline. But it's just. You can't just keep complaining. That's one thing with FGC that I don't really like is that there's a lot of, there's not a lot, I shouldn't say a lot, but there, anytime, oh, see, yeah. I, see, I don't want to. Yeah, because I, I like a lot. I, I, like I don't want to get that. But, 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 okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole different. See, yeah. But uh. it's always, when you, when, the moment you slip up, they are quick to bury you. Mm-hmm. But the moment you're doing good, you don't get no retweets or love or anything. Not really. It's, yeah. it's, it's, very, it's very hard, you know? Yeah. FGC is weird. So yeah. yeah, I just think it's... I, 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 because now you just reminded me. See, I just, I just, I <laughs> Evo, it was just weird last year. 
It was like, it was great. It was amazing, fun mm-hmm. time and all stuff. But it was just, there was a lot of people who was just like uh, chasing for fame and stuff. Yeah. And it was just weird. It was like basically, granted, you know, you probably want to be like Justin Wong and all mm-hmm. stuff. But, you know, that's, he he did his time. And he earned, that, he that, earned that, it. that title like, and all you know? stuff. And basically, like, if he was playing on the big booty TV back in the day, yeah, so, yeah. just pretty much. So like, it's, they, they don't know. They don't. Yeah, they don't, don't understand. They don't. The the thing about majority of the new generation of FGC is they don't have something that we currently have in the previous generation, and there's that that's that arcade mentality. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and that arcade mentality was. You are not shit until you start taking people's to- uh, quarters. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> quarters or tokens, whatever you want to call it. It, but, it, it literally was shut up and play. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it, but like, it's not like that no That's more. the only way you get known is if you just take money. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, I beat you and all stuff and everything. And they're like, hey, man, who got like 20, 30 wins straight? Yeah. That's how, you, that's how it was in the past. Yeah. It used to be all about respecting skill. Yeah. Me growing up, when I heard somebody was the best in the arcade, it was like on some kung fu type stuff. Right. Yep. Like yep. He, that had number one head he had the number right. one headband. Yeah. Yep. And, yep. and like I, I didn't care how famous you were. I didn't even know the guy's name. All I knew is he knew techniques that I didn't, and I yeah. needed to test him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I grew up watching when I when I when I found out about Justin Wong, I was just like. Oh, this guy must be the baddest dude on the planet. Right. Does he mm. sit here and train all day, every day? Mm. And then I became enamored with that. And it just like when said, like these kids now, it's like, who's the most visible? Who's the most popular? No, it's about who's the best. That's what we're here for. We're here to see who's the best. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have these tournaments. Before it was prize money, before it was fame, it was who is the baddest. Yep. That's it. You know? And we I feel like we lost that, man. Yeah. yeah. We need that Kumite feel back. <laughs> right. Because yep. I- the uh-huh. thing is, I love online. Mm-hmm. I I think online is a great tool for people who are less fortunate and can't or, travel and can't travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, people who can travel and they want to just chill and play against other people or play against their friends. Mm-hmm. It's it's a great thing to have, and we came a long way. However. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know, I know. It, it feels weird compared to playing offline mm. because it's a whole different mentality yeah. and it's sometimes not the best mentality because you know you have these online warriors that basically it's not all of them but they don't understand the oh, what's the best way to say it they don't understand these streets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they don't understand that there's rules mm-hmm. of the engagement. <laughs> and you can't just, oh, we're about to lose and just plug out. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it's just it's just small things or basically, you know, granted, I love getting like hate mail and all stuff. It's great it, to wake up oh, in the morning. Wake like up. I, I'm just going to bed like, oh, oh this, this is you it. You get it immediately. <laughs> it take them a while. Nah, man. 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 When I get it, when I get it on my streams, I show it to my stream. They yeah. just laugh. I laugh at it with them. They're just like they like, they will just say, "You're a laggy ass person." I'm just yeah. I'm laughing. I'll be like, "Oh, thank you, man." <laughs> I do, I generally don't care. Like <laughs> it's actually funny. Like recently, I was playing Tekken and this guy. Uh, I beat him five times straight. Uh, demoted him and everything. And I'm talking Dang. about this is I think uh, that's when I got to Fujin and stuff. We don't really play online that much. Mm. But he was just, he added me. Oh, I think he was my friend as well. And then he just go ahead. He The last match uh, afterwards, I was like, hey, man, I'm going to give you a chance to go ahead and break the streak. He just pulled the plug and then had the audacity to add me to a chat to say, yeah, man, you know, you're just laggy. That's what they do on PlayStation. <laughs> really? Yeah, they add yeah, you yeah, to yeah, a yeah. chat. You get- on with my type of internet? Word? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> word? I could play against Justin across yeah, the pond. I'm, I'm in London. Yeah. <laughs> and you complain about me and we're yeah, like... We fiber out here. Yeah, I know. We ain't got no fiber. I'm struggling. And we're, and we're like right down the street? I'm like, really? Yeah, nah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Online mentality is just... It's not good. People say a lot of reckless things and then 
when you see them, they're, just, they're not really like that. Like, mm. they just, you know, the thing is, it's a lot of clout chasing as well. A lot of clout mm-hmm. chasing. That, 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 it never... It never used to be that way, but this online culture, it, it's there because they want to be where the next person's at. And the yeah. best way to be where the next person is at is by to slag them off. Yeah, this and, really. yeah. yeah. and if you slag that person off and they respond, you've got clout yep. because that person's responded. And this goes back to what I'm saying before, is the, it's the main reason why I just put mute button. I don't even respond. You could cuss my mom, you could cuss my girl, you can cuss me, you could cuss whatever. Even if I see you, most people would be like, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat you up. But why am I going to beat him up? Mm. Why? What's the point? Yeah, you beat him up and then, you, what, everyone labels you as, yeah, you're just a bully. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're this and the other. Yep. For what reason? I, I will still see you in a tournament and not say anything. I don't care. Like, you, you say all these things, but you're, you're nobody in yep. my life. So, I don't really care. And that's the way how it has to be. All these content creators, like, whether you're in the middle of it or whether you're high above, whatever. Like, you just have to ignore it. And people need to stop clout chasing because... Yeah, you're going to get your, I don't know, your cult following of maybe four or five people that will agree, oh, King J is this, King J is that, or Sonic Fox is this, Sonic Fox is that, or Justin wants this, Justin wants that. But do you really think, honestly, you, you want to make it in this world? Do you really think people are going to really join you? You're going to be successful by doing stuff like that? Yeah. you got to really think about it. Because mm-hmm. there's people I don't like. And I'm not going to say, yo, I don't like him. Da, 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 da. publicly I, I might not like you but I'm not going to just make it like a global announcement it's just like get on with life man I'm not going to watch you if I don't like you do your thing yep you know I'm short man got better things to do yeah, yeah. Okay, man. so um, let's, let's go ahead and wrap this up a little bit man that's cool uh, Jay like you got any last words you want to kind of shout out to uh, um, any of the folks back across the yeah, pond what you got going on yeah uh, man let us, let us know let us know what you got going on let where us know. can people find you yeah right, where can cool. people find you bro all right, so obviously there's a couple things. <laughs> there's oh, a couple yeah, things. You got, Let's you know, go, man. Floor, man. Get uh, it all out. All right, uh, the w- w- places you can follow me, uh, King. I've got KingJ.com website, KingJ.co.uk website as well. Uh, Twitter, KingJLDN. Uh, Twitch, KingJAE. YouTube, KingJAE TV. Instagram, KingJAE LDN. Um, I think that's it in terms of social media. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else other than that. Um, you got any new projects yeah, that you're gonna try to projects. launch out there? All right, cool. So let people know about that. Or yeah. new games to try and get into. Oh yeah. Uh, oh oh yeah. wow, 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 wow. You not bombarded yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, nah, all right, cool. So um, I think last year I done the King J theme, which is like a theme song with like I I got a rapper oh, called yeah, Comps. I heard that, yeah, 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 I got a rapper called Comps and I got him to rap and do like lyrics about like um fighting game characters. I m- might do something again this year because I, I like it. Um I recently started doing a clip that podcast. Um that's got like a lot of like the fighting game people. I got Marginal Obama on it, then I got Little Margin done chop yesterday. Um so there's gonna be other people that was gonna be on it as well. Um games to try out. Ooh, so I don't. I play Tekken Seven. I'm known for Tekken, but I'm this year. I was saying to Win that I want to branch out because you know sometimes when you play a game too much, you get burnt out. Yeah. And you know, content creators' advice to you: if you play any game and you just get burnt out, and just try another game, regardless of whether you have 11 viewers. I I get 100, 200 viewers, and then sometimes I might get 40 viewers. I played uh, the Yakuza spin-off Judgment. I had 40 to 80 viewers. Oh, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know a word of Japanese. I can't even read Japanese, but I completed the game in Japanese and it was a lovely experience. Listen, <laughs> I don't want to hear it from you. I don't want to hear it from you. I, could, I completed it in Japanese and I gained new loyal followers up until this day. So, you know, you just don't know. There's people that are probably looking for someone like you to stream a game regardless of whether, you know, you get the most views or not. Just keep playing it. The games I'm going to try out is Mortal Kombat 11. I'm yeah, definitely yeah, going to... Yeah, boy! Yeah, so I'm definitely going to be doing content on that. It's more than likely going to be funny content as well, so make sure you're not tuning in for that. Dead or Alive 7... No, uh, 7. Dead or Alive 6. We're not that far ahead, Dead or Alive 7. Dead, right, or, Dead or Alive 6. Um, I've been streaming that. make sure this will survive. First. Y- right. Yeah, I hope so. Um, Dead or Alive 6, I got into that recently. I played Jan Lee. Um, the, Dead Life, the Dead or Alive community in America has been absolutely amazing yeah. and welcoming to me. Um, I think the last stream I done on Dead or Alive, I got one point eight thousand uh, views. One point eight thousand. Nice. Yeah, nice. on Twitch, um, was on the front page for that as well. Um, so there's that. 
I think I'm going to start trying to play some old SNK games. I've really been... I know Samurai Showdown's coming out. I'm not really a fan of Samurai Showdown, but I want to play like Garo, Mark of the Wolves, yeah. um, King of Fighters 13. I know King of Fighters 13 is harder than uh, 14, but... That's a pretty-ass game. Yeah, so pretty. it's really good. I want to... I've tried out Undernight in Birth recently. I didn't yeah. have that long on it, but I... The game is fun, but yeah. it's, it's kind of wacky, bro. It's, it's just hard. I, I, I just want to try it, because I've never really dabbled into like It's a very fun game. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. I love the characters, bro. Like, they got some real cool characters. That's that's there. probably the next game I'm going to... Are you going to jump in there? Put it in. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm about to say, I'm going to have to grab it. Yeah, I'll grab it too, man. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll try it yeah. just for a little bit. And I'm like, I need to try it tonight. And I tried it uh, down to CEO. Is when we messed yeah, around. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, it's, it's Evo ready. That boy won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, a, so there, there's that. Um, in terms of this year, obviously, TwitchCon, uh, EU, Brand Ambassador, touching on that um, just quickly. There has never been a fighting game streamer that's been a brand ambassador for TwitchCon, period. Damn. Big thing. So there, I'm talking, there's bigger streamers than me. You got, you, I know, um, there's loads of bigger streamers than me in the Sun fighting games, but I'm the first one to do it as a fighting game streamer. They have, Breaking. yeah, they have yeah. all the people that are doing Overwatch, um, Apex Legends, Fortnite. Yeah. They get all of those people on and they never got a fighting game streamer, but do you know how, how much I busted my ass to get to that position. I'm talking about the 24-hour streams, the late streams, hardly sleeping. People don't see it, but it happens. They see the product, though. Yeah. though. And that's and that's when they reached out to me and said, hey, like, I didn't reach out to them. They reached out to me and said, hey, um, we're doing this thing. We want you to be a part of it. Can you sign some forms and this, that, and the other? And I was like, what? Like, I've seen Twitch, but I've looked on even the ones that they have on in America, because them, them ones are... Uh, the ones that I wanted to go to, but I just couldn't afford it. Yeah. So I'm watching them and seeing what streamers they they got there and stuff, and they've never had a fighting game streamer. Like, and I'm the only one that's broke that in the FGC community. Mm-hmm. Y'all heard it here first, folks. That's history uh, in the making, right there. That's what I'm saying, and it's like I'm. I had Kayani. She said to me, "Oh my god, like, well done, congrats." I remember I, got, I hosted her and she I went in that stream and she's like, "Oh my god, congrats." Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, he's famous. I'm not famous, but. To her, she say, she's saying that to me. I'm just like, raw sick. And then I'm getting other people that are saying, they're congratulating me. Mm-hmm. But the one thing I don't like about the FGC, and I'm, I'm going to throw it out there, I just don't care. I'm just going to be honest. One thing I don't like is, when you put out stuff like that, and you're like, yo, look, I've sent it to a couple people. And I'm not going to name names. I've sent it to a couple people like, look, yo, I'm doing this. Obviously, appreciate it if you can kind of like just... You no know, share like retweet or something like retweet is free. I'm, you're not paying. There's no tax to it. It's right. it's free. Or you don't have to retweet, but at least give me a little feedback. Like, right, no, you know what? I won't retweet, but congrats. I won't mind that. Mm. I, a lot of the core people in FGC don't don't do that, but we follow each other, and it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. We're so not, we're not helping the community and, grow, and that's what I'm saying. So that's why when that happened, especially for Tekken, because there's a couple people in Tekken that are kind of up there, and I said, look, this is what's going on. You know, I even tweeted out the other day. I know it's not like a political or like, I'm not trying to cause any beef or anything. I just, I just keep it real. This is how I am. I tweeted out the other day. Um, I got Tekken, Tekken 7 to 7.5 thousand views. Global front page. So I pushed out Tekken, Bandai Namco game on front page of global. So every global front page. If you went on front page, King J's face is on all of your front page if you go on Twitch TV. So I pushed that one out and I tagged, I tagged Mark, man. I tagged Tekken, I tagged. I tagged Harada, I tagged all them, but they didn't, no one retweeted it. And I even tagged, I tagged Dead or Alive, because I said, yo, Dead or Alive, I've done your thing and got 1.8. Dead or Alive, everyone, everyone that was in part in, involved that talked to me, they all retweeted. Like, I didn't have to ask them. Nothing, not a word. Mm. So, it made me realise, and I was saying to, I was saying to, I was saying to everyone, like, raw, this is kind of mad, because then I see, the, the next day, I see one of the European uh, guys that stream Tekken, He's promoting him, tweeting him out, like say, saying, yeah, look, follow he, the go and go on his stream. And I was just like, I ain't jealous because I, I have mad love for everyone that does their thing. Like, big up to Fergus, because it was Fergus that it was. Big up to him. I just thought, I've been doing this for 10 years mm. and you have never tweeted, you lot have never, ever tweeted out. They've tweeted out Fergus a couple of times now. They've tweeted out everyone else a couple of times. And I was just like, wow, like, you lot don't really, you lot don't rate me. You just don't, you lot don't really rate me because I push your game on front page, global front page. I didn't have to. 
Right. I'm not saying that, yeah, you have to retweet me. You have to. But with you, sometimes it gets to a stage where you're just looking and you're thinking, well, um, where do we go from here? De- right. de- decade deep in. I've right. been playing Tekken for a decade deep in. And, yeah. you know, I put this on and 7.5 thousand is my highest views. I, I could have streamed any game. I could have streamed Dead or Alive at the start and probably got that. And they would have been a lot more appreciated. They would appreciate it a lot more than Tekken. So I was just like, right, you know what? I'm going to start playing other games. And it's not to cut my nose off to spite the face. If, if you, anyone's listening out there and think, oh, yeah, well, you didn't. you got to understand. When becoming a man, you, you, you understand things. There's things that you love and you have to give up, mm-hmm. right? And I'm not giving up Tekken, like, but I will still play it because my audience is Tekken, right? But it's a thing of, do I have to do everything Tekken, like, for me to just burn out so much that I can't even see what, and be happy with what I'm doing. Mm. And that's why I said to myself, I was talking to Win about it, I was talking to Joe, and I was just like, man, I'm not going to lie, I feel like I need to play other games. I played Dead or Alive, I, I get a lot of love. I played Street Fighter, I was in the Capcom head office, you know, talking to the guy, The um, shout out to Matt, by the way, he's uh, in the UK, in the UK head office for uh, Capcom, just chilling, every time just talking, he, he supports me a lot. And I'm looking at all these other companies. There's companies that, like, I've never spoken to them a day in my life. Mm-hmm. I've been grinding your game. I've been on front page for Tekken at least over 20 times. So that means that is exposure for your game. Yeah. And you cannot give me a single, like, support. Like, hey, King J, I I know you're doing this. They didn't give me the game. Red Bull gave me the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? It says a lot. Red yeah. Bull gave me the game. <laughs> And so, and someone, and one of my one of my viewers bought me Tekken Seven on PC. I didn't even ask. He said, "Yeah, look, take it." So imagine that. That is community driven, but it's not from the developers' point of spe- per, uh, perspective. And it just made me realize. I was, and I'm looking at like people like in the EU. We have the main man. The main man is he's on uh, I think seventy five thousand on on YouTube. And I look at someone like Maximilian. I look at Eris. Eris. These are are the they're the Greatest of all time yeah, for, yeah. for fighting game content. Yeah. And we have to kind of show praise to that. I've shown praise. That I'm a humble person. So I will show praise and say, look, these are, are the greatest. These are, don't just play one game. Yeah. When you look at their content, I see uh, Maximilian, he hit um, 1 million. Shout outs to him. He was playing Devil May Cry 5. Yep. He plays Dragon Ball Fighters. He plays Tekken. He plays everything. Look how big he is. He, that's every audience there. You look at Eris. Eris was playing GTA, making me laugh. He was playing, he plays the most craziest games, Resident <laughs> Evil. He, he makes me laugh. The, the, like, no matter what, he plays different games. Look how big they are. Yeah. You have to sometimes wake up and smell the coffee. You can't just play one game and think, yeah, this one game is going to grow me the success. The main man is on 75,000. I'm more than sure if he played other games, he would be a lot more bigger. Yeah. Because, you know, you can't... It's weird. I remember my girl was saying to me that my personality shines a lot more when I play shooting games because I'm not good at them. But... <laughs> yeah. I, but That's what happened. Yeah. I'm like in my room just cussing like hell. Like Mario could hear it all the time. It's like... That's, this is what I'm saying. It's like, I'm not good at them and I, I, I admit that. But it, I, I make funny statements. Yeah. And it's like... In the ev- moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so everyone's always laughing and... It, that's why I say, you know, like this year from that, it made like I'm not, it wasn't sort like I'm begging a retweet or begging, but it's like, this is 10 years in the making. Yeah. And then, you know, you think about all the stuff that's wrong. Like, even like there's been so much things, I don't want to go into too long, but there's been so much other things that like, they've said that I've stole, I stole pads before. What? Yeah. They said I stole pads and they banned me from a, 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 a weekly from that. Wow. How, how the allegations, though. And that's what I'm saying. But, Everything that they they've banned me for, cause I said, "Raw, show me." He said they, he had ever. So I said, "Okay, let me come. Let me come now. You show me." They didn't show me, but they banned me. But it's all because that I am doing the content and I'm getting places. And to be honest, it's because I'm black as well. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna put it out there. I, I'm not gonna do the cry. Oh yeah, it's racism. But it's because I'm black, and you know, it does look like I'm from the hood of London. So it's like. What can we do to kind of like, we don't want him to be at the forefront, you know, bearded up, hat, yeah. all of that. It's like, they don't want me to be there. You know, they probably want to, uh, someone that looks nerdy to be there or not even necessarily nerdy, but they just don't want someone that looks like me to be at the forefront. Because I've never had no type of support from Panamco. Mm. 
Yeah. So, you know, maybe one time they sent me a season pass, but that's, <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's about it. I don't want to be too blunt about it, but yeah, they sent me a season pass once, but I think that was just kind of to clean the air, but they've never really... But I like the game, you know? And, I, and to be honest, I, 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 if, they, if they're listening to this, I have no problems with you. I'm just, I'm just saying that I've been doing your, your content for your games for so many years. It's not hard to support people, man. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it, really. I'm just going to be playing other games, um, documentary on a lot of things. So even all this stuff that I've kind of gone on with, with you lot, like, even me coming out in ATO and stuff like that, I'm doing uh, a mini docu- documentary on the Tekken House out here, documentary on just the life of everything, like when I've done the music video for the song, all that's gonna ca- they're gonna be happening and yeah, there's a lot of stuff, man. Just Twitter, Twitter is the best place. Twitter, I talk about everything, cool. stuff that's happening. So yeah, just check it out from there, man. Big things, man. Big things. So yeah, that being said, uh, thank you for tuning in to Common Breakers Podcast. Oh, well, I guess what you're playing? What you playing? And uh, we out here. Oh yeah, man. And uh, one last thing to everybody out there, man. For everybody watching this video, um, we went through a lot of topics, a lot of opinions. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all guys want to say a little something, something. So <coughs> you know. If you got any ideas on how the FGC can grow in your local community or just overall, go ahead and drop those in the comments below. Um, if you got any words from man Jay over here, go ahead and drop some comments. I'm sure it's one last time. Go ahead and drop some <laughs> comments. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Win uh, for making all of this happen. Uh, he is now officially the sixth combo breaker. Hey, uh, hey, hey. We got to get him a shirt now. Or, yeah, we got to get him a shirt now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shirts and cards. Um, so it was it was unanimous. Everybody. Now we got to we got to take a group picture like a Ginyu Force pose. Oh, there, there's, gonna be, there, 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 there's definitely going to be a new banner. We got to yeah, get a new banner too. Some, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So can commemorate I, everything. Can, um, I, can I say one more thing as oh, well? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shout out to Atlanta and shout out to Combo Breakers for having me. I really appreciate hey, it. The setup is the setup is really nice and. You lot, uh, yeah, you lot are gonna go far, man. So I appreciate, appreciate that, man. it. Keep appreciate on going, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, it was that a pleasure said. having you, brother. Like that, yeah, that was a lot of information that uh, we got. Definitely some insight on the scene. That, uh, this was the longest thirty minutes we got. Right. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Conversation happened. You can't just cut it off, bro. Like you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. Yeah. That's been uh, what you're playing. We signing out. So deuces. Right. Deuces. Point. 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 Point.